Today, uh, I think everyone got to be uh, tired because it's just late today. So uh, let me walk through this fast. And uh, let me introduce myself. I'm uh, Kai from uh, Japan. I am a software engineer in cyber region, and uh, I'm just being daddy lately. This is my kid. And uh, let's take a break. I uh, have some question. I think everyone is disaster already. So uh, this would be super fast and uh, simple and easy. So uh, I think it's progressive deliveries is things that everyone already know. But uh, actually, I'm hearing around um, just today and today, but uh, everyone just talking about Argo CD, not Argo now that much. So I just get that. I should asking again about what is progressive delivery again. And uh, we all know that why progressive delivery exists is to avoid this dead end. Um, as in performance here, uh, we all know that uh, if service go live, the, it's really scary to be the one who on call. And so why, again, for multi-cloud environment? Why multi-cloud environment? And I think I can list up here a little bit uh, answer for that. And uh, it's maybe for diversity team and background, or the service requires, or it's just a legacy problem. And in our environment, uh, I will share my company uh, story. We uh, have about uh, three departments just under the company and uh, under each department there is a lot of team and uh, each team had the full control over the, the platform and they can choose which to use and uh, basically uh, with CI, CD they use as well. And what problem with that kind of environment? Uh, basically, um, I can tell you like a story context like that. Uh, in context of uh, a company, one team, say for instance, team A and team B, one use ZKE and one use EKS. We can easily have workshop delivery thing with our own house. And uh, as a platform team engineer, uh, I can manage this easily, just one view, one uh, interface, and uh, one UI. But how about when we starting get more cluster for team A, the workload for the platform team is increased. Then we have a new team called team C. The team C is using um, Kubernetes as well, but this time they're not just using the ZKE, but they require for use the Kubernetes on prem as well. So in that case, for Kubernetes multi-cloud, Flux CD is quite famous for that. So uh, they asked us for supporting uh, Flux CD, and uh, the workload for the platform team is increased with uh, supporting Flux CD. Then the team B who use EKS start thinking that they have something that not actually need to be a part of EKS because it's just expensive and uh, they starting using like Lambda. And also for something like best, uh, uh, running or something, or boosting data to other AWS service, they use Lambda. So for the Lambda code, they use GitHub Action or any CIs for their CD. And also we add Team D who use Cloud Run, the other serverless from Google Clouds, and uh, they also use a GitHub Action as the CD as well. And next time, the platform team get more and more requests because uh, this time, Team A and Team C starting using Terraform in in their uh, Google Cloud and uh, as the uh, as the infrastructure and cost for their cluster and more and more. And Team E is, is the old guy who just using ECS, Lambda, and they use Denkin for that. And uh, we can all know that there is a lot of workload for platform team if uh, we have to 
um, what can I say, many things, many different interface for many different kind of CDs. And something, uh, and something is not even CD, it's just CI. And uh, I, 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 I take this picture from my friend, Whitney. Uh, yeah, I think this problem is just commonly because not just my company get this problem, but other as well. Um, the platform team have to handle multiple interface, multiple tasks with different uh, things. So it's a lot of work for the platform team. And usually the platform team member is just too small compared to what they have to do. So to survive this, we think that we have to let others do our job so that we can um, handle many things with a little bit number of resources. And uh, in business world, we call it tax regulation. So uh, what do we do with uh, that mindset? Uh, we think that we need a way to implement the tax degradation idea. And the second is the solution has to be easy enough so that other can uh, take over what we delegate, uh, delegate, deliver, uh, delegate to them. And also from my Whitney friend, she said that platform teams should cheat the, should cheat the platform as their product. And I'm totally agree with this thing. Uh, that's why we're starting a new product. I mean, just uh, internal products. It's called PyCD. And um, go back for the what do we do? Uh, we need a way to implement the tax equation idea. And with PyCD, we do that. It is the ideally architecture of a CD for a whole company that we think that would work. Uh, for a whole company, we have one control plane and each team can install the agent to their cluster individually and the cluster pooling model to connect to the control plane. And go back with my company story and this time, we can all see that the platform team workload is way decreased because we only need to handle the control plane. We only need to operate the control plane. Every team else just need to install the pipe the agent to their cluster and everything works. Uh, to prove for my say, this is the number in my uh, company uh, 5CD control plane. Um, they use only one control plane and we can enable to serve the GitHub uh, progressive delivery for over 3,200 applications. And uh, yes, I don't understand that. Almost is the q and And uh, for the second, uh, we need something that have a consistent and easy enough interface. And this is what we call uh, the consistent and easy interface. This is a simple interface for configuration if you are using 5CD to, uh, 5CD as the progressive delivery tool for your application. And, uh, oh sorry, I'm just wrong copy. <laughs> One is Gauran and the other supposed to be uh, Kubernetes. Uh, at this place, uh, this is the simple UI for control plane and uh, for Cloud Run and for Kubernetes. For Cloud Run, we have uh, three states uh, for uh, primary strategies one promos, 10%, then wait approval than 100% promote. And for second things, uh, communities, the canary run out, then great approval, then primary run out, then canary clean. It's a simple and just look the same for even different kind of application. So why ICD? Uh, I think this uh, is just a word update. So uh, I'm trying to make it less word um, I will read it right away and 
BioCD is simple, unified, and easy, but still powerful enough for you to create um, progressive pipeline CDs. And uh, the best thing is that BioCD is uh, provide you a same deployment interface to deploy application to any platform. The third is that uh, this does not require you to install a, any CRT. You just only need to uh, prepare your manifest and prepare one pipeline definition, then pipeline will take the rest. Uh, next one is the deployment creator does not need to be exposed outside the cluster. Next one is uh, the built-in deployment analyst. We call it ADA. Uh, as a part of the pipeline, so you can easily just use it inside your pipeline and get modernly progressive deliveries pipeline. Uh, next one is easy to interact with any CI. Also, we have an uh, inside metric um, feature that you can review your deployment. And last but not least, uh, the PyC architecture is designed to serve thousands of cross application in multiple cloud for company scale, but still working out with small projects. And I know it's still worth it. So uh, I will walk you through some use case so we can just easily image uh, how PyC look like in the real use life. So uh, we start with the common flow. We can or understand that is the CI simple flow. And uh, with PyCD, uh, after we finish the CI flow, uh, we can trigger the CD and we call it the even watcher feature of PyCD. And in this picture, I use GitHub's action at the CI, but actually we can use any other CI. Just last step of the CI, we as some command like this, and it would trigger the PyCD. The PyCD will update the manifest repo, which store your manifest, uh, your ham, your yam, your whatever, with the data that give from the CI um, pipeline. And that manifest repo update will be reviewed and approved by the developer again. And at this point, we will have an earlier set of what would be changed, uh, what would be re reconciled to your cluster. Uh, we call it plan preview feature. You will get it just like this in case of uh, GitHub action used at your CI. The GitHub action will print out thing like this one. And after that, the PyPD agent will pull the update of the manifest repo just like other git off things and deploy it to your cluster and that will be whichever cluster. So uh, I just want to mention a little bit about which could be deployed here. I just uh, tell you guys lastly that by CD have a built-in built analyst uh, deployment um, state and we call it IDA and you can configure it like this. Basically in this um, in this lab I use the Prometheus query. Uh, I, I use the prom query with data from Prometheus. It could be whatever metric server you can set up it by yourself and the PyPD agent will load it and you will write query like this and uh, Check it out if any problem happen, uh, the analyst state will be full and uh, probably will run back to your deployment right away. So for the uncommon flow, uh, this time the story a little bit changed. Um, this time your pull request is directly update the manifest repo and the probably will notice the chain and it's make chain on the Telephone things. Then after that, we introduce thing called posting, which is the trigger after the application be deployed. 
the previous application is terraform but it can trigger the deploy for the kubernetes application as well and to do that uh, you can just make the configuration pipeline like this just simply uh, mention the application you want to trigger after the pipeline is uh, finished for the first application and uh, it's not just one next but the next and the next and the next as well that everything is the config like uh, the both I uh, just mentioned so that is not uh, just that uh, we have a lot more feature that I think developer would love to have and uh, we have an official site here you can just uh, scan and uh, walk around maybe if you feel interested uh, you can go for the play site as well that is the live demo and we also have a free child request and you guys can uh, uh, write to the form and we will generate some project for you so that you can uh, use our set control plane to use to display your application and the current statute of 5CD the latest version of 5CD is uh, 0.45.45.3 uh, uh, it's already production used wisely in our company I just said you previously it's handled over 3000 applications in our company and 5CD already joined CNCF Sandbox from this year and for the roadmap of the project uh, we are the middle of the way to reach the version 1.0 with several big thing changing the first thing we are planning to change is we want to make adopt for the block able architecture so that the pipd uh, can support more application currently we only support uh, five kai is communities terraform uh, ECS, lambda and Gaurang. The second is we are trying to find a way to make the Argo Spark CD or open cruise drone out work with 5CD so that 5CD can remain as the CD pipeline and we could be used as the applier can be freely changed. And the third is we are trying to add more feature on the pre and post deployment, say for instance. Uh, we know that ChatGPT and uh, OpenAI is quite uh, widely used today. So uh, we're thinking that some kind of log or brand or brand preview feature can be boost up more power if you can use power of AI as well. So it's still a fresh project and has a lot more room to grow. So if you guys have the same problem and you feel that PyCD can work with your case, uh, feel free to. Uh, being heard on CNCF Slack, uh, we are in 5CD channel. The official site is 5C.app and our GitHub repo is 5CD uh, slash 5CD. Thanks for listening. I think that's all. So, uh, any questions? Okay, so uh, I think we can stop it here. It's, ah. Quick question. Um, is your product a SaaS product specifically? Yes. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Ah, sure. If you feel interested on open source thing, please just come for uh, the SAC on CNCF. We are very well there. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Ned. Thank you so much. Hi, sorry, do have one question. Um, how do you guys handle like rollbacks in terms? Of, because let's say Pipe CD handles both, obviously handle both uh, progressive deployment, 
plus the infrastructure side as well, like Terraform and everything. Yes. How do you guys think about rolling back, right? So if there is a deployment failure, you have analysis template. Uh, in the case of a failure, do you roll back everything, including the infra update, or just the application itself? Uh, for the Terraform thing, right? Uh, basically, we use uh, we do follow GitOps. So uh, if anything happen, the Terraform will apply the previous state that could be, I mean, on the GitHub, uh, on the Git flow. I mean, the previous uh, commit is the stable one. So we trying to apply it first, and if not everything go right with the Terraform that time, the, the platform team will get in and fix this for that. I mean, for the Terraform is the, uh, the only thing that we can do for, for now. Right, so is the analysis bit focused, can be like chucked into anything, like in between Terraform update as well as the application update or? Uh, basically, the PyCD trying to make uh, the same interface for I mean, as many as possible. So the roll, the roll back, um, the roll back term is work easier on application things. You are so right. And for the infrastructure things, the Terraform. Even if you want to reapply the latest commit, that something may cannot even roll back. I understand that. So we just trying to make that roll back about UI on the UI which means that at least we trying to make the Terraform apply for the latest um, stable commit. And if it's go right, then it's go right. And if it, something happened, we can just do it later. Cool, thank you. Thank you.